Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And I just came back from the post office. Got this little nondescript gray cardboard box. And um, there's something in here that my friends from Retivis sent me, or Redivis. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, and it seems like no one is. But uh, there's a radio in here, the uh, RT3S. And you might ask, what am I going to do with a relatively old DMR radio that hasn't been done before? Well, let's take it over to the bench, unpack it, and see what's inside the box. And I'll get back here. So this is the RT3S box. And pretty unusual for Retiev, this is actually a box with pictures and colors and everything. But I'm kind of excited to see what's inside the box. So let's open it up and see. Or let's check out the outside first. There's some information here. It's uh, compatible with the uh, motor turbo tier one and two and all the usual stuff. And it says GPS optional over there on the right side. And I'm kind of excited to see if they've sent me the GPS version or not. So let's turn it around here and see. And there's a little box there on the middle on the bottom the first column where GPS is ticked off. So this is the GPS version, and that's good for the project I'm going to do with it. So let's open it up and see what's inside. First of all, there's a little bit of a note here, which talks about GPS operation with it. It's a relatively thick user manual. All in English, as it seems. There's a programming cable. Always nice to have one of those. Let's see what's underneath here. Let's start here. We have an antenna, standard rubber duck, 136 to 174 and 400 to 480. Let's put that over to the side. We have a power brick. Let's see what this says. Uh, input 110 to 260 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, output 12 and a half volts. That's a good thing. It means you can probably charge the radio from a battery. We got a lanyard, a belt clip, with at least one screw. Can't see the other one, no. Um, not two screws. Let's see if we can open this up. We have the drop-in charger. Nothing special about that. And then we have the radio, the RT3S, and it seems heavy and sturdy. That's actually a good thing. Let's see if there's a charge on the battery on it. One. There is, so we might need to program this. That's the topic of another video. But um, let's go back to the couch there and uh, I'll talk about what my plans for this radio is. So let's go back to the elephant in the room. Why? One. Oh, the radio actually talks. Why do I have, I have a relatively old DMR radio for review and test purposes? Well, I'm not going to do the standard review of this radio. There are plenty of those. What I am going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to test it out with the original firmware just to, to get a feel on how the radio is and how it performs. But the, uh, the exciting thing is that I'm going to load OpenGD77 on it and see how that performs. Because Retivis actually has an article on their website about OpenGD77 on the RT3S. 
So I sent them an email and asked them if they were interested in uh, cooperating with me on trying out and making some content on OpenGD77 on the RT3S. And they said yes. So that's why I have this radio. I'm going to get back to that several times over the next coming weeks. So um, you'll see my updates as I go along with this project. But that's about it for today. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please don't hesitate to click that like button to subscribe and to comment. I love comments. And if you want to support the channel a little bit, you can do that down below. You can either buy me a coffee or you can support the channel on Patreon or just click that like and subscribe. I appreciate everything. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and until next time, 7-3. Oh, you're still here. There's one more thing to do. That's satisfying. 7-3 again.